Check it out. You shall not pass! What does the tree say to the rock? Nuh-uh, not today, mister. Can you see me? It's gonna be a wet morning. It started off raining, which it was supposed to rain this morning. And it's kinda let up a little bit now. Got about 16 miles to do today. We'll see, there's rain clouds all around me. Uh, it's not supposed to rain anymore today and it's supposed to clear up as the day goes on and then come back around Friday evening and Saturday, I think. So we'll see. I've got everything waterproof, myself included. We're just gonna hike. Uh, Camp Mira was okay. I said there was a lot of kids there, part of a youth group or something. I'm not really sure because uh, I mean, they, were <laughs> they were having a ball, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's starting to rain again, so I'm gonna put this camera up because it's not waterproof. So uh, I'll update you soon. I had actually forgot how pretty it was down here by Natural Bridge and uh, Red River Gorge. It's uh, it's beautiful. Could have camped right there last night. Shoulder blades bugging me this morning. Of course, it's, it seems to be a daily thing. Um, what I was saying before about the campground. Was those kids, they were having a ball. I mean, they were just running around screaming. I guess they were playing tag, except they were calling it murderer or something. Like, ah, there's the murderer! You know, and they all run, and whoever gets touched, I guess they become the murderer. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Kids these days. Uh, what was I saying earlier? 16 miles to my proposed campsite. Of course, again, it's one of those things where... Yeah, the mud. Of course, it's one of those things where I don't really know what's there. There's just a forest road in the forest, so I'm hoping there's a camp spot somewhere very close by. I don't know, I'll find a spot. And it should be a cave run tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. So I'm back on the trail. Straight out of camp. Somebody went up there or something. I'm almost a mountain parkway. Did I mention how pretty it is down here? I mean, I love, I love this, uh, I love this terrain. I came out here and across, I guess that's 15. And I take this little tunnel drive here and cross, cross Mountain Parkway. I was kind of hoping it crossed at a store or something. But I guess I'll take this. This isn't too bad. Update you soon! That's always a uh, reassuring thing. And everything here is this gravel road. Like, everything is coated. It's just a fine powder. Absolutely coated. There's a sign right there. Let's go see what it says. It just says Shotoi Trace Trail number 100 Daniel Boone National Forest. Blah blah blah. But there's the blaze. There's the USA sign. Here's me. Now well, I topped the ridge here and all I can smell is rain. So I went ahead and got my rain jacket out. Put it right here just in case I can sling it over. I could sling it over me and my pack. Uh, although the pack should be pretty much waterproof. Uh, walking's been pretty nice today. It's been uh, I was on the gravel road for a little bit and then the trail cut off where the bear sign was and then uh, it's just kind of wound through the woods and across the road once or twice and that was it. Still walking, so I'll, uh, I'll update you soon. Hope it doesn't rain, but if it does, it does, I guess. As long as it doesn't lightning and thunder, I'm good. And so far, so good on the rain. It's very pretty country here. I passed by a couple of people out jogging. Some other people had some big packs. And I think they were just camping for the night. There was a really nice camp spot back there down over the cliff. That you could walk, take a little side trail to get down to. It looked awesome. It would be a perfect spot for camping. Right now it's still just kind of 
misting. I hope the weather holds. Yeah, that uh, sign back there said rough trail, half a mile. I don't know if that means the trail's rough or if that's the name of the trail. I guess technically this is a little more rough than what I've been walking on. And the trail's been really smooth and clear. <sighs> but it is gorgeous out here. So I'm gonna hike a bit more and uh, update you soon. It's a nice open view for you. And how gorgeous is that? Whew! I know it's not a rough trail, just my shoulders are hurting today. They hurt every day. What am I talking about? Got like three miles to Red River. Be there by by noon. Probably sooner. I'm walking probably about three miles an hour, so oh well. I'll update you soon. I think I've begun my descent down towards the Red River. At least down to the gorge that goes to the Red River. Being on these ridge tops, uh, completely exposed with nothing around you, uh, and you don't know what the weather's doing is a little unnerving. But there's a uh, one good thing is it does open up to some amazing views every now and then. Yeah, this is the trail. It's pretty much going down, 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 down. Don't worry, I'm not gonna start singing the Kesha Pitbull song yet. What's up? I'll stop at this little spot by the creek here to uh, give me some lunch. I've seen four hikers already since I've been sitting here. Two came through. And then, I don't know, about five minutes later, two more came through. Looked like three hikers, and they had enough gear. One was a guy and a girl, and he had a gallon of water tied to the back of his pack. That's probably both their water. I just split that into two half gallons and then put one on each side of my pack. I'm not hanging off the back like that. That's too much back weight. It's only 11.33 right now. I have no idea how many more miles. I don't even care. I mean, I'm camping in the woods tonight anyway, so I'm just gonna make it as far as I can. That's my plan, man. I drink some water and fill my water back up and uh, I'll update you soon. Well, I made it to the Red River. Yeah, uh, here's the people on the other side. So uh, I'll update you when I find the crossing. Well, it's a big suspension bridge <laughs> over Red River. Kind of thought it would be. Let's cross this thing. It looks very unstable. Oh. No missing boards. Ricky. Some board. Both inside. Definitely a uh, one person at a time bridge. Interesting. Get fun. Alrighty. Now I gotta find the trail. I'm uh, on my way up to Cloud Splitter. Man, am I tired. I don't know how many miles I've gone. Probably only about seven or eight, but I'm feeling it today. Backpack feels heavier than normal, even though I know it's not. I think that squirrel fell out of the tree, I'm not really sure. Bear scratching away at the tree. Oh, I can't wait to get up here and rest. Update you soon. Oh, yeah. Lower part of my right calf muscle, that ligament or that tendon there is killing me today. It's really slowing me down. I'm just trying to get somewhere where I can rest and uh, eat some more and pop some ibuprofen. Maybe it'll help with the inflammation a little. Uh, I walked underneath of Cloud Splitter and I never saw a trail going up to it from this one, so I guess Chateau Trace doesn't go up to it unless somewhere way up here around Corner Ridge Road there's a trail going off to the left that goes around back to it, but if there's not then I don't know how you get to it. I've never been there before, but I've heard lots about it. My sister would argue the fact that I've never been there, but no, I've never been there before. The only reason I knew I walked under it was because I could see it marked on my map. But yeah, you would think with the spectacular views that I've heard 
the trail would run by it. Or, you know, somewhere near it where you could take a side trail to it. I guess not. It's a shame my calf muscle's hurting, or whatever part of my leg that is, because the trail's been really clear. So, uh, and it sucks, because uh, I could really make some good time if this muscle slowed me down. So, uh, I'll update you soon. Have a break time over. Eat me a bunch of stuff, pop me a couple of ibuprofens, and then I was trying to find a better spot to chill. I just came to a flat spot on a bend in the trail and I just sat down there. I knew I was gonna have to climb out of that valley eventually. And boy, did I ever. I got a few miles to Corner Ridge Road. I'm pretty sure that's where I was gonna camp, but I didn't look at my maps back there. I didn't even bother. I just ate, rested, took the ibuprofen, drank some water, and got up. Oh, kept on moving. The trail's pretty rough up here. As far as I can tell, I'm still on the trail. <laughs> you never know. You just never know. So I probably picked a good spot to rest before I had to climb up all of this. Oh, that hurts. never be so glad to get to camp as I will be today. I'll tell you that. Alright. Update you in a bit. I will say one thing. Definitely. Views definitely open back up again. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I think there might be a little better spot to see right here. Oh yeah. Oh much better. Stop and stay a little while, but it's 2:41 and I'm not certain on my mileage, so I'm gonna press on. Cool little arch. A nice little spot to get in out of the rain if, uh, if it was raining. Right, it's not raining now. Whew. All right, I'm gonna keep on trucking. This is pretty. I swear, I have seen more people since I left the campground this morning to where I am now than I have the entire trail combined. I got a, about four and a half miles to Corner Ridge Road, and I think that's right at Gladdy Creek. So, yeah, it's, uh, so far I like this section of the trail. It's like I'm hiking again. Just wish my feet weren't sore. Update you soon. I made it 16 miles today. And my legs are telling me all about it. Got camp set up. About to start me some dinner and relax. I actually got here way earlier. I got here at 4.15. I was planning on 4.45. Started hoofing it once I got a once I kind of got over that uh, leg hurting, or whatever, whatever was going on. And I took that backpack off and I felt like I could jump like 20 feet in the air. It's kind of getting cool now. I have cell phone service here too, so I just got to make, I just got to make a phone call. Uh, my rain fly is still soaking wet from the rain this morning, or last night I should say. I'm gonna get dinner started. I'm gonna run over there to the creek bed and grab a bunch of rocks and make me a fire ring right over there. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat and sit my booty down and rest. I get ready for bed. How, how many miles do I have to do tomorrow? And I don't even know where I'm going tomorrow. I don't know where my next stop is supposed to be. I thought I was gonna be at Cave Run, but I'm not gonna be at Cave Run. I think I have another stop. But I'll figure out what it is. I'll let you know. How I usually do dinner. <laughs> Give me a campfire going here in a minute to uh, 
keep it a little warm and also to burn up the trash that I have. And yeah, this really is a very nice spot. It actually uh, cleared up a little bit and the sun came out for a while and then it decided to hide behind that uh, those trees there. And then I think some clouds stole it after that. Anyway, I'm gonna eat. Um, just wanted to show you what it looks like when I set up for dinner at night usually. This is usually what I do. I'll update you before I go to sleep. Yeah. Burn, baby, burn. What's up, peeps? Uh, it's almost bedtime. I uh, got some freaking poison ivy or some poison oak or something on my arm. It's been bugging me for the last couple of days. So I'm going through my first aid kit because I think I had some medicated poison ivy scrub stuff in here somewhere uh, but anyway yeah I'm about to hit the bed it's uh, 7.30 right now 7.29 and uh, it's 17 miles to do tomorrow on my map uh, it should be crazy like this terrain was and I'm definitely going to be taking some ibuprofen before I leave in the morning uh, but I want to get an early start I want to be I want to be gone as early as I can I don't know what time that's going to be but I've got the alarm set for 6.30 it should start getting light at 7 so while it's getting light I'll be getting everything together in the tent and uh, when the sky starts lighting up and to get some light outside I'm gonna start packing everything up and get out of here uh, yeah so anyway that's it I am uh, ready for bed I'm gonna put my fleece on and my hat on because it's probably gonna get really cool tonight it's kind of cool right now I'm gonna snooze so good night and uh, see you in the morning